Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Cancer, okay, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. So is it a good idea to reach out? These are the Cancerian individuals that are currently no contact with somebody. We're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this individual and what will happen if you did reach out to this person. Uh, even though this is love focus, this could be with anybody. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below, below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the uh, description box below. Okay, so... Um, Cancer, let's get started. Tell me about Cancer here. Tell me about Cancer. Is it a good idea for Cancer to reach out to the person that they are currently in no contact with for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. Is it a good idea for Cancer to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with? We have something that jumped out in the reverse here. Okay, with a Hierophant in the reverse. I would say no, uh, because whoever this person is, Cancer, this person lacks a moral compass. This person has trouble doing the right thing here, okay? Uh, Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus here. You might have Taurus in your chart also. We have the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like this person, you know, might be complete polar opposites of you you know you're more of a homebody this person's more adventurous this person likes to go out and have fun and stuff like that this person's spontaneous and unpredictable so i feel like this person is yeah i just feel like this person is just a polar a complete polar opposite of you here cancer king of wands aries leo sag we have the two of cups here and the seven of wands when it comes to love in partnerships, I feel like this person tends to push it away or resist it. Uh, what I'm feeling like, I feel like this person has feelings for you or that this person loves you, but I feel like this person is pushing it away, resisting it, okay? Um, definitely dealing with the soulmate here with the Two of Cups. We have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the King of Pentacles. It seems, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, it seems like this person in a way kind of has their shit together when it comes to the career and their money, but when it comes to romantic relationships, I feel like this person does not. Like I said, I feel like when it comes to that, even just like friendships and family in general, I feel like this person has trouble doing the right thing here with that Hierophant in the reverse. I feel like this person likes to test the boundaries of other people's boundaries or the boundaries of uh, the law. Okay, uh, tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse here. You got the Six of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Okay. You know, I feel like this person is missing you. Um, you know, I also feel as though I feel like this person could have suffered a loss when they were young. Yeah, and I feel like maybe they struggle with relationships here because... I feel like you might be dealing with someone here where people perhaps maybe die on this individual or people just walk out of this person's life. So I feel like this person has had a very challenging life when it comes to relationships, not just romantic, but friendships and family and stuff like that. The Two of Cups here with a Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. They are in love with you, like I said, but I feel like they're, they, they're, they're resisting this relationship they're pushing you away uh you know i feel like you're irresistible but i feel like they're tr they're trying to resist you too yeah the page of wands why is the page of wands here with the moon cancer pisces king of pentacles and the four of wands look at that there is a strong soul tie here 
And I feel like this person might fear this relationship. They might, they might be fearing their emotions here, the way that they feel about you. It just could be that I feel like that when this person just let, let, let people in their life or open their heart to somebody, they, like I said, they either, you know, these people either pass on them or walk out on your person. Uh, Cancer Pisces with the moon here, four of wands. Um, that's Aries energy. Uh, what will happen if Cancer reached out to the person that they are in no contact with? What will happen if Cancer reached out to the person that they are in no contact with? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for November 2022. With the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Kings of the Queen of Pentacles here. True pair. We have the Ten of Swords and a Ten of Wands. We have the Death card and the King of Cups. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles and a Chariot. Someone here could be dealing with the loss of a sibling here too. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like this could be a twin or something like that. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a sibling. Uh, Death card and the uh, King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I feel like what will happen if they reached out to you or if you reached out to them, I feel like I feel like we have someone here that's dropping this connection. And I feel like this queen might be you. Yeah, you're dropping this, you're releasing this, okay? Um, you know, whatever pain and suffering that this person has gone through here, Cancer, I feel like this person really took it out on you. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, the Chariot, and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Yeah, it just seems like you're clear about what you want, which, di which direction you're going. Because I feel like with the Magician here, you know, I just feel like you're just manifesting new things in your life here. Ten of Swords, we have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, the Ten of Wands here, and the Page of Cups. So what you're realizing is that, I feel like you're realizing that you want to close out this situation here, but I do feel like this masculine here could be coming in for a second chance or a reconciliation but i feel like you're turning away this person here seems like we have the wheel of fortune and the star so i feel like what's going on here i feel like this person's definitely making some sort of changes here this is interesting because if this person recently lost a sibling or has lost a sibling in the past here i feel like this person's being guided by the sibling on the other side here yeah so you know i just feel like i feel like you're unbothered by it you know, I just feel like you're just going to mind your own business here, okay? And just kind of go off on your own and do your own thing here. Um, but it, it's sort of like, you know, I feel like this person is trying to resist you, but at the same time, it, it's like they can't. So, uh, yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely going through a lot. So, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.